I believe with the advancement in technology, we are, very, we are getting very close. And with the advancements in numerical modeling and uh, forecast model, computer forecast models, we are getting even closer. So we are all very excited about the, these new observational technologies and how they can be matched to the progress that uh, is being made in numerical forecast models. I find it so interesting, the research that you are doing and how we actually have these robots underwater helping us with our forecasting. For people that may not be familiar with them, are there any fun or interesting facts you might want to share about your mission or about these gliders in general? Yes. Uh, first is that um, they have been in place for several years already, many years. Uh, to other type of studies, to study uh, water properties in coastal areas. Four years ago, we started focusing our attention on the use of underwater gliders for hurricane intensification. Uh, it, an underwater glider is an autonomous vehicle, is the size of a person, size and weight of a person, you can actually pilot the glider from your office or from your cell phone. It goes from the sea surface to depths of 1,000 meters deep. And in the process, it makes measurements of temperature and salinity. Every time it gets to the surface, uh, transmit that data to uh, the data distribution centers and forecast model, uh, uh, places where they do forecasts and they assimilate that data into the forecast models. And uh, these gliders advance, advance at a rate of more or less 15 knots per day. And um, uh, they are very user-friendly, the way you can actually pilot them. You can do that from your cell phone, if you so wish. And um, they are very robust. They can be in the ocean in, even in very rough conditions. You have hurricane winds, waves uh, higher than 12 feet. The gliders will surface and will transmit the data, and then they will continue doing their work. This is why having autonomous vehicles is important. You cannot go there and measure with a ship under those conditions but you can do it with an autonomous vehicle, with a robot. So you send the robot there to measure during conditions that uh, in a regular ship you just cannot do.